Hello everyone. Welcome to another episode of To the Point. Today's topic of discussion is mangroves. First of all, let's see why it is in the news. The International Day for the Conservation of the Mangrove Ecosystem is observed each year on the 26th of July. Established by UNESCO in 2015, this day raises awareness of mangroves' importance and promotes their sustainable conservation. Now let's discuss about what are mangroves. Mangroves are salt-tolerant trees and shrubs typically found in estuarine and intertidal areas, where freshwater meets seawater. These unique ecosystems feature aerial roots that help in absorbing nutrients and providing a habitat for many species. Mangroves exhibit a unique adaptation known as viviparity, where seeds germinate while still attached to the tree, falling into the water and rooting only when settled in mud. As per the India State of Forest Report 2023, India's total mangrove cover is 4,991.68 square kilometers, which constitutes 0.15% of the nation's total geographical area. In India, mangroves are found in coastal regions such as West Bengal, Gujarat, Andhra Pradesh, Kerala, and the Andaman and Nicobar Islands. The Sundarbans, shared between India and Bangladesh, is the largest contiguous mangrove forest in the world and a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Now let's talk about ecological and economic significance of mangroves' coastal protection. Mangroves act as natural bioshields against coastal erosion and storm surges. Carbon sequestration. Mangroves are highly effective carbon sinks, absorbing more carbon than other forest ecosystems. Economic livelihoods. Mangroves support local economies by providing resources like fish, honey, and medicinal plants. Fish farming, honey collection, and ecotourism are among the livelihoods that directly depend on mangrove ecosystems. Biodiversity. Mangrove forests are rich in biodiversity, offering habitats for numerous species of birds, mammals, reptiles, and marine organisms. Now let's discuss about threats to mangroves in India deforestation. Rapid urbanization, land reclamation, and industrial activities are clearing mangrove forests at an alarming rate. The rise in tourism, unchecked coastal development, and shrimp farming also contribute to the degradation of these ecosystems. Climate change. Rising sea levels and increasing temperatures due to climate change are submerging mangrove ecosystems. Studies show that mangroves are being pushed landward as sea levels rise, but urban expansion and human activities are limiting their ability to migrate. Pollution. Pollution from plastic waste, industrial discharge, and agricultural runoff contaminates mangrove habitats, affecting their survival and the health of the species dependent on them. Now lastly, moving on to conservation efforts for mangroves mangroves for the future. A global initiative co-chaired by IUCN and UNDP, Mangroves for the Future, aims to promote investment in coastal ecosystem conservation for sustainable development. Mangrove Initiative for Shoreline Habitats and Tangible Incomes. Mangrove Alliance for Climate Local Conservation Programs. West Bengal Sustainable Aquaculture in Mangrove Ecosystems. Now is the time for practice question. Consider the following statements about mangroves. 1. Mangroves are found only in tropical regions. Two. The olive ridley turtle is not found in India's mangrove ecosystems. Which of the statements given above is or are correct? A. One only. B. Two only. C. Both one and two D. Neither one nor two. Send the answer of this question in the comment section. Thanks for watching. For more informative content, like, share, and subscribe. And do not forget 
to press the bell icon to get the notifications. For more informative content, like, share and subscribe and do not forget to press the bell icon to get the notifications.